Hello guys and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be talking about Barcelona, Barcelona and Atletico's peace agreement that they made over Griezmann's case. So before we get into the main topic of this video, I want to backtrack a little bit into what happened with Griezmann's case and negotiations that happened. So basically Barca were informed that Griezmann's buyout clause was going to go from 200 million to 120 million by July 1st. So if say if a team buys Griezmann in June, then they're going to have to pay 200 million. And Barza knew that, so they said, okay, we're going to wait until July 1st until his buyout clause drops, and we'll purchase the player. So July 1st came by, and, and Griezmann always wanted to join Barza, so of course so of course, Griezmann agreed to join Barcelona, and then Barcelona paid the 120 million euros to Atletico Madrid, and then, you know, life went on, right? But then later on, like two to three weeks later, Atletico complained to Spanish FA saying, hey, there's evidence that Barza and Griezmann's agent were talking since February and March. And at that time, Griezmann was worth 200 million. So that means that we should get paid 200 million, not 120 million. And so Atletico Madrid was so, were so salty because Atletico didn't like how Barza were negotiating with Gr Griezmann's agent and Griezmann at, at that time without Atletico knowing. So at the end of the day, Atletico believed that they should be paid 200 million, not 120 million. And Atletico swore to Barza that we're going to take this to court. And so it did happen. And then at the at the end of that day, Barza and Atletico Madrid agreed that Barza is going to get fined $300 which is nothing and i remember in the media people were like three hundred dollars for what you went through all this headache just so barza could get fined three hundred dollars then after that day happened barza were trying to appeal the three hundred dollars because um even though it was very little for, for barza to pay the three hundred dollars is like saying okay yeah we did talk to to griezmann back in march and april so as time went by atletico was still was still struggling to to get something out of this case but then barza so news broke out this morning that barza said hey look We'll pay you 15 million euros in order to shut down this this case and we'll just leave it at that because apparently atletico had publishing emails and it contained evidence that barza was still talking to that barza was talking to griezmann and his agent back in february and march and so that's why barza wants to pay the 15 million and just say hey look settle down if you have the evidence just let it go we'll sell it we'll settle it with 15 million euros we'll pay you that money and so sources also claimed in that morning that part of that 15 million euro deal was also a five player deal with Barcelona meaning so I said right here Barza have also obtained first refusal rights on five Atletico players which includes Saul and Jose Jimenez and three other players from Atletico's academy so what that basically means is that if anyone wants to make a bid for either Saul or Jimenez Barza needs to know that information they have to be prioritized first so if let's say Man City wants to buy Saul for 63 million Barza's Atletico is going to tell Barza hey look this is what's happening do you want to match this bid or do you want to let it go and this isn't the usual case when when a player is going to be sold to a club clubs aren't allowed to know what's going on with the selling club and a, and a buying club so for Barza to be prioritized first in any deal and whatever happened with these and in whatever happens with these two players and the three players from the academy it's a good deal and good business for Barcelona because if Barza knows which club wants to buy any of these two players Barza can just come in and be like hey we'll give you 67 million and so just to be more into detail the only way for Barza to be prioritized first on anything that happens with these two players and any three players from the academy is if the club is looking to sell the player wants to leave and another club in Europe wants to make a bid that is the only way for Barza to be informed and and be informed by Atletico so again I think this is a great business for Barcelona just to pay only 50 million euros to Atletico Madrid to be prioritized first on any deal that happens is good so I know it's a little complicated but I'm trying to simplify everything because there's a lot of sources out there that, that make it sound super complicated than it already is so basically there's two different operations in this 15 million deal that Atletico and Barza made it's the Griezmann case and the five player deal that Barza and, Gri and that Barza and Atletico agreed on and then another source or report came from Atletico from Atletico CEO or I believe the chairman I don't know who said it but they said that this 15 million euro agreement has nothing to do with Griezmann's case so that's where I'm just like okay I don't know about that right I don't know what's true and what's not but the thing is we do know that there is a five player deal that Barza is going to be 
informed and prioritized first on anything that happens with these five players. So honestly, I don't know what Atletico Madrid was thinking when they were giving priority to Barcelona because, first of all, Atletico and Barcelona aren't even on good terms after what happened with the Griezmann case. So only paying $15 million to be informed about these five players for Barcelona is good business for Barca, but bad business for Atletico Madrid because then they're going to lose out on a lot of players. But then again, but then again, I can see why they... They will want to sell players because Atletico is in a financial burden after they have opened the Wanda Stadium and they have all these other uh, financial issues that 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 they have to worry about. So, um, I don't know. Maybe there's there's a lot of things that there's a lot of elements that go in in this case that's going on right now. So let me know what you guys think. Let me let me know what you guys think is true. What is not? Do you think that Barza really did pay 50 million euros just so they could shut down all these publishing emails, or do you think it's not true? So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.